Hey, welcome back to the shop in Toronto. Just a few quick notes. I made a little changes with my heat gun. So part of the rod making process, you do have to heat up the node. The node is, is that bump on the rod. It just has to be flat. If it's not flat, it won't sit in the forms properly. You're going to have trouble planing. You're going to have glue lines. Um, nothing good can happen from a node that is raised. So part of the process is, as a builder, you have to heat that node up and alter it. On a quiet mode, you can do it with a heat lamp. It's a very peaceful way of doing it. Uh, a lot of guys are using steam in conjunction with heat. I sort of started out using a heat gun, and I've dabbled in other methods, and I've tried the steam, and I just keep coming back to the heat gun probably because it's what I'm used to and it's where I've had most of my success. So the basic heat gun would be this Black & Decker gun. This is the second one. The first one I had cacked out on me after many uses. It basically has two settings, hot and hotter. The speed of the fan is always the same. I put a little piece on the bottom so that it would sit flat on my, on my bench. And then I would put on a diffuser nozzle like this one and then I'd be able to run the rod over. I made a lot of rods this way, it worked perfectly well other than it being noisy. Two things I didn't like about it. One, I had a lot of heat coming up and hitting me in the face. And two, it was slow. So I tend to do at least two, if I'm doing a rod I'll do two just because I'm all set up. So. If you got two rods, that's um, 36 strips, and each strip has two or three nodes, depending on the size and so on. So it's a lot of nodes. Um, it would take me about a minute to do one, I would say, to heat it up, and then I would go over to the vise and, and clamp it down. Now. After this spring, I had a deadline. I had to get a bunch of rods done, and it was driving me crazy how slow I was going. So I bought, I made, sorry, I made a, a hood. Essentially, it's a simple hood that you can tuck the rod under. It does two things. One, it doesn't blow heat in my face. Two, it speeds it up by close to a third. I can, depending on the size of the strip, I can do it in 20 seconds. I use big strips because I have swelled butts. So they do take a long time. But what I found was with my heat gun, it, it worked so fast and heat them up so quickly, you can darken the top of the canes, especially if you're doing blonde rods, you're gonna have to be careful. My rods are somewhat toned, so I'm okay. So then, I know a lot of guys were using a Steinel gun. I was down in the States. I saw this gun at Harbor Freight Tools, you know, the home of all things inexpensive. And Harbor Freight can be great. Some of the stuff is all we need. Some of the stuff is not great. This is all we need. What I liked about it was, A, it had multiple settings. And B, it had multiple speeds of the fan. So I could control what I was doing by using this nozzle on here and getting just the right amount of heat, particularly if you're going back and say working on a strip after it's been glued up. So I'm able to just tuck the rod underneath, move it back and forth, and that shared heat heats the strip up super quickly compared to the other way. So I've taken my original way, I've just improved it a little bit. Um, these heat guns, you know, I think are 30 or 40 dollars, so pretty inexpensive. On sale for either 29 or 39, I can't recall. I just took a piece of sheet metal and put a couple pop rivets in there. You could certainly do a nut and bolt if you wanted to. And you could do infinite number of these. You could drill some holes to create just the amount of flow, but I found I went from about a minute on a node to about 20 seconds when this thing was hot and cranking. So that's a significant saving when you're doing 36 strips times two or three nodes, um, 70 plus, 100 possibly nodes. So just a little, a little embellishment. Uh, I also like this gun because it sits properly, nice and level on the workbench. And oddly enough, these Black & Decker nozzles fit right on the new one. 
So somebody over in China was paying attention when they put this one together. So I will do another video where I'm going to heat up the nodes, but it's going to be noisy and, and um, I don't want to talk too much. So I'll tag it up with this one, but uh, this is dealing with nodes with the heat gun part one, I guess. And someday I'll do a part two, hopefully sooner than later. I hope you're in your shop building. Hope things are well with you. We're having a nice mild winter here in Toronto. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.